You won't believe how many times I've actually tried to record this intro for today. This is probably the 20th time, probably actually more than that. But anyways, today is Thursday. We have one more day till we get to the weekend. Hopefully you guys got that like I'm drinking right now, a monster, a coffee, a Kickstarter to get you guys through the rest of the day. Okay, let's get to the regular intro. Here we go. Three, two, one. Good morning, FS Club. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to FS News. Today, guys, we have some news, of course, on a new map and then also some more stuff like an American Shed. Now, of course, we got that huge test on list to go over. And, of course, we got some new mods, which we got, of course, to go over the new mod of the day. I've actually said, of course, a lot in this video for some reason. You know what? I'm not going to cut that out. Let me know down in the comment section below, guys, what you guys think is the mod of the day. You could probably guess what it is. And then, of course, don't... F there we go again. <laughs> don't forget to put down in the comment section below. Hashtag FS News. Let's try to hit 300 likes on this video. And with this video, I'm actually releasing it as a premiere. This is kind of like an experiment. If we can hit over 100 likes on this video, I will do the next video as a premiere too. You know what? Roll that intro. Here we go. Welcome back. Okay, so the first piece of news to talk about for today is from Nathan6930. This is pretty much an update on everything he's been working on. Of course, he has been working on his Metal Grove map, which is probably his biggest thing. He has a few placeables to put on it and then has to sort out a few more bits on it. And then, of course, he has a JCB pack, which he hasn't touched in a while. So hopefully we do see that pretty soon. He has the All Butt pack. Still needs to finish in gaming the flat eight grab, but he will get there. Uh, the AW trailer pack, all the models are done. Just got to sort them out and do some textures and get them in game. And then also he has started working on a front weight pack, which will have 500 kg, 1000 kg and 1200 kg weights with color changeable. And will have different brands on front, such as John Deere, Class, New Holland, Fent and so on. So that is all the news from Nathan6930. And the next piece of news is about a big map that's coming out. This is from Peter716 and his Greenlands map. It has now been sent off to Giants for testing. No release date. Remember, this will be for PC and consoles. This is a fictional map inspired by real farms in the UK. The map has a total of 100 fields ranging in different shapes and sizes. There is also a village called Greenlands. Also included in the map is a biogas plant, grain mill, sawmill, storage yards with sheds, and a long river, and several forestry areas and a large area at the bottom of the map, which you can do anything you wish to do with. The map has contracts on all 100 fields. Animal husbandry is built into the placeables and can be sold along with all the sheds at the main yard. The gates can also be sold off as a whole by clicking on any gate and the hedges as a whole by clicking on the red bullards opposite the main farmhouse. These can also be gotten back once they are sold too. There is three farms on the map. The first one is the Greenlands farm, which will have cows, pig, sheep, and chicken, grain storage, three silage pits, along with storage sheds. Then you have Greenside farm, which will have cows, sheep, and two silage pits. And then you have the roadside farm, which will have pigs and grain storage. There is also Woodview farm with a storage yard and two sheds. Hoping this will actually come out very soon. I'm hoping it actually comes out by like February, maybe March. This looks really good. Let me know what you guys think about this map and if you guys are planning on playing it. And then after that one, we have some news from Senior Vertex. And this is about a cotton autoload trailer that will be coming out to every platform very soon. But anyways, the price for the front trailer is $15,000. The rear trailer is going to be $12,500. Of course, the category cotton harvesting, starter co uh, pack cotton. Because remember, we actually have packs now on Farming Simulator 22. Capacity 9 bales and for the front trailer, 11 bales for the rear trailer, so you can have a total of 20 actually cotton bales. That's actually pretty good. Dimension of the bales, 2.3M uh, by 2.3M by 2.4 for the round bales. Uh, let's see, configurations, you can have wheels, position of flashlights, flashlights, bale, separator, auto load, tension belts, plate, additional hitch on the rear trailer. Uh, let's see the colors. You can do the base color, chassis color, bell support color, side plate color, and wheel color. So animations, you have unloading, support levers, and disengaging sounds. Uh, attention though with this. The auto load and the collision system are very sensitive, so follow these guidelines. Do not load in places with cluster of bells. Do not make sharp turns. Do not use the straps while the bales are in auto load. For that, uh, unload the bales on the trailer itself, and these pass the straps. Don't use too many trailers. Do not use trucks with very large cabins. If the bell touches the cabin, the collisions will conflict. 
And then now on to the last piece of regular news for today. And this is from Legacy AG, a project update. He is bringing out a 58 by 50 shop. So this looks really good right here. This is going to be amazing on those American maps. So far, the modeling, textures, lighting, and animations are now complete. The to total of the mods is about 95% done. It is now being currently tested. And then, of course, he's going to be sending it to Giants. And hopefully, we do see this on consoles and PCs very soon. Okay, so that right there was all the news for today. What do we have left to go over? Of course, the new mods we got for today. Let's see. On PC only ones, we got Quick Camera. We got Horse Helper and Grow Now. So those are the PC only ones. Now, the all platform ones, we got Large Water Tank, Sawmills Pack, Hay Storage with Bale Acceptance. John Deere RTK Stations Pack, PB3 0 by 1, Concrete Rollers Pack, for Shrit B352, Seppi M S9 Base, Man TGX 6x4 Tanker Truck, Man TGX 18500 4x2, and last but not least, the John Deere Gator Pack. Okay, let's head on over and show the new mod of the day, which you guys can pretty, get, pretty much guess. Okay, so here we are. You guys can pretty much guess what this new mod of the day is going to be. We have to go right here, and you guys can see right there the John Deere Gator Pack. I'm pretty sure everybody knew that. Um, anyways, this is from Black Sheep Modding. You guys can download it right now. Let's see. You got the Gator 6x4 with it, the Gator 4x2 with it, the Skip, the Bail Container, uh, the 3-Point Lifter, the uh, 32A. You got the X250, X250. So there's two. Okay. Uh, we have the 10 CU foot gator fertilizer, uh, the 10 CU foot gator, uh, gator, I think that's a salt spreader, and that is it. Okay, so let's actually get one of these. Let's see, some of the options on this one. We got standard. You can actually put a weight on this now. Wow. 900, 1200, protection 1, protection 2, protection 3, protection 4, and then protection 5, uh, protection 6, protection 7, protection 8, and then back to standard. Wilburns, you got Trailborg, you got John Deere, you got Michelin, you got Nokian. Trailborg, you got Standard. I think it's all, yeah, you can't mess with those. Uh, design configuration, you got Model 1, you got Model 2, Model 3, Model 4, Model 5, Model 6, Model 7, Model 8, Model 9, Model 10, 11, 12, 13. How many models is there? 16, 18, 19, 20, and then back to 1. Wow. You can put beacons on it. You got one, two, no. Additional lights, yes or no. You got the engine setup. You get the six uh, by four, which is 25 kilometers, 40 kilometers, 50 kilometers. And you got the main color. You can change it to John Deere green, yellow, forest green. So as you guys can see right there, I love the colors on this thing. Design colors, you got yellow or black, which changes the interior right there. Rim color, you got yellow or black. And then of course you got your license plates. So let's go ahead and get one of these real quick. Let's get it with the Protection 8. Um, let's get the John Deere tires, Model 20. Got to have both the beacons on there. Got to have the additional lights on there. 50. Let's put it back at the John Deere green. Design color. Let's put it back to yellow. Rim color back to yellow. And there we go right there. Okay, so let's go ahead and buy that. Okay, then we also got the 4x2 version which should have about the same stuff. You have protections, the wheels are the same. Besides, you know, you only get four of them. Uh, let's see, model 20. Let's do this one just like that. And this one, none, none, sorry, can't even speak. Additional lights, none, 50 miles an hour. Let's do this one, the 25. And the colors, let's put the forest with the black. Oops, let's get that. Okay, then of course we got the skip right here, which can hold up to 500 kg. You can pretty much put anything you want in it. So let's get one of those. I just wish you could change the color, because if you change the color, of course, of the gator, you'd probably like to change that too. Then we also got the bell container, which this one you can change it. So let's put this one as yellow. I'm surprised that you can't change. Oh, there it is. Why wasn't it showing up? This one you can actually do forestry or no. And then of course you can change the color on that. Three point lifter. You can change the color on this one. Let's put this one as forest green. You got the 32A, which is a fertilizer spreader. Let's go ahead and put that one in there. Then we got the X250, 
We change the color on that too. We'll change this one. Oh, this one actually get you get black, stainless steel, and looks like two yellows. John Deere. Let's let's do this. Wow, that looks good. Okay, then we also got the 10 CU foot gator fertilizer. Uh, this thing holds up to let's see, 1,000 liters. And this one actually can do lime too. Uh, so let's get that one. And then the last one is the salt spreader. So this one you can change the color. Let's do that. Okay, so there they all are, all back there. Okay, let me actually go into here real quick. Let me turn off the automatic start. There we go. Okay, so let's get inside this one. So here is the interior, really nice interior. Uh, let's see, horn. And that is it right there. Lights, one, two, two sets of lights. Uh, let's see, turn signals, yup. Beacons, yes. Okay, let me turn the engine on. Nice engine sounds. Things light up in here. Okay, really nice. Of course, it is from Black Sheep Modding, so you know. Steering's really good on it. Okay, so like some of the stuff, all you gotta do is pretty much just back up into it like this. And as you can see, it attaches. Uh, let's see. Nice sounds on this. Wow. Tension belts. Yeah, I think I found out what I'm going to be using on the farm a lot. This thing right here. Okay, so there's that one. Then, of course, we got the three-point hitch. And then we got that, which I don't know if I can actually hook it up with it since I got it like this. Probably not. Let me... Oh, you can. Okay, so there we go right there. Just hooks up right to the bottom right over there. Man, stuff actually snaps on like quick. Oops. Okay, so there is collisions on those. Come on. Sorry, you know, it's just my driving. Hey, okay, there we go. And of course, you do partial width and all that, so you can change the working width. Let's see, let's do this real quick. Oops, wrong one. Let's see. Oh, you can set down to two meters. Oh, wow. Let me actually get some in here real quick. I just want to test this thing out. Okay, should be able to put some in there from there. Let's put some lime in there. Okay, there we go. Let's just turn this on real quick. I don't even see it actually coming out. Let me actually change the width real quick. Okay, so there's... Maybe it's because... Yeah, I need to own some land. Let me uh, let me buy some land real quick. I'll buy this area. And this area. Okay. There we go. Okay, so there's that. Let me actually change the working width on that again. Kept pressing the wrong button again. Oh yeah, look how, look how small it is. Let's change the working width. That's cool. Okay, so that right there, guys, was the John Deere Gator Pack. Let me know if you guys actually agree with my pick in the comment section below. Or if you watch this on Premiere, let me know in the chat. Okay, now on to the last thing to talk about for today, and that is the testing list. So in testing on PC, we have additional game settings, barrel weight, Bergman GTW 430, brand billboards, chocolate factory, class Lexion 8000, for Schritt B125, Gornig Grantor 280, Gornick Grantar Supra 5M, Power Console, Honey Pallet Station, Honey Trigger Pack, HW80 Trailer Pack, John Deere 437D, John Deere CP770, John Deere CS770, Joskin Waggle Loader, Carpan TZ400, Metal Tech WP8, 
only sleep at night. Pack John Deere 600 FD and 700 FD. Pack multi fruit container. Placeable dairy farm package. Quickie console. Rudolph warehouse. Shed. Silage factory. Sip Spady 3K12. Wilson pace setter pack. And last but not least, the Zeter system front loader. So that is on the PC side. Now on consoles, we have the Fent Way Pack, the John Deere 9R, 9RT, 9RX 2019 series, Crone Swadro 2000, Repair Place, Treffler TG615, and last but not least, the Viking PS1004-1654. Number mods when we test it is still over that 1000. We have 1,109. Current waiting time, guys, is only six work days. Okay, so that right there was the news, the testing list, and of course, the new mod of the day. Now, today's schedule, after this video at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, we will be back on live stream at No Man's Land. So hopefully you guys do join us for that. I hope we did hit that like goal on the premiere of 100 likes. And then, of course, the total like goal of 300 likes. So don't forget to hit that like button. Also, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys do hit that sub button and ring that bell when you do ring that bell make sure you press all so every single time i upload a video you guys will definitely get notified about it i hope you guys do enjoy the rest of your day talk to you guys later peace